Active PoE means the right power at the right time. If you want to learn more about our AT16 injector kit options, then keep on watching. As some of you may already know, an active PoE injector or switch will negotiate with the power to device to deliver voltage. It won't adjust or change the output voltage, but what this does mean is that there are no concerns for accidentally burning out a lower power or a non-PoE device. Power is only added to the data cable once a compatible 802.3AF or 802.3AT device is connected. The AT16 offers power on demand and protects your non-PoE devices. Let's check it out. The AT16 is designed to be installed into an existing rack. As you can see on the screen, it supports pass-through data up to gigabit data speeds and has four banks. Each bank is made up of a group of four ports and has its own set of LED load indicators. There are also two power LED indicators for each DC input. I'll show these in more detail later on. To touch on some basic specs, the AT16 is compatible with 48 to 57 volts DC input and can support up to 30 watts per port. You will also see that the power LED indicator is a great visual for letting you know which voltage is connected. Each power input side has its own DC and Phoenix connector, depending on if you need additional wattage or which fits best with your current infrastructure. I will note that one power input can power the entire injector. Like the label shows, a green LED for power means we have 48 volts connected to the injector. A convenient feature I'm demonstrating here are the mounting screws on the back of the injector. These four screws are there to hold up power supply trays. Once attached, your power supply can easily be mounted and be out of sight. To demonstrate the on-demand power feature, I'll be using our PoE tester and detector. You'll notice that when I first connect the Gen 2 tester to the AT16, nothing happens. The injector is not negotiating with the tester as a powered device. However, once I flip the simulate PoE device toggle on, the injector detects a compatible powered device and sends the 48 volts to the tester. You'll also see the blue load LED indicator turn on for the port that I'm using. As another quick test, I'll connect the AT16 to the PoE detector. The flashing green LED is letting us know that active PoE is on the line. To review, the AT16 has data input ports for each corresponding output PoE port. It also has two power LED indicators, however, power is available on all ports from one single input. And a second power supply can be added for additional wattage. Each bank also has its own set of load LED indicators that will light up blue once the device is connected and drawing power from the injector. The top row of ports will be for your input data and the bottom row of ports is for your power and data out to your device. That does it for today everyone, but thank you again so much for watching. Remember, if you enjoyed any part of this video today, please go back and give it a thumbs up for us. It really helps us out. And if you didn't enjoy the video, then that's completely okay too. Just let us know in the comments below what you'd rather see. Don't forget to check out our other channels too. We're active on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Instagram with posts throughout the week so you don't have to wait for these uploads to see what we're working on. All of these social channels along with the product and kit variations will be available in the description box. See y'all next time.